Hello, this is Rachel from Kalkine Media and you're watching Kalkine Media's educational series. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notifications for our latest videos. Australia produced 328 tonnes of gold and earned $25 billion from gold exports in 2020. More than one-fifth of the total 2020 gold production came from ASX-listed Newcrest Mines, Australia's largest gold producer. Newcrest produced 2.146 million ounces of gold in 2020, which is roughly 60.84 tonnes of gold. Headquartered in Melbourne, the company operates gold assets in Australia, Canada and Papua New Guinea. The company operates high-grade gold mines in some of the most prolific gold regions on the earth. Caddia Gold Mine in New South Wales is one of the largest gold mining operations in Australia. The gold mine achieved a tremendous feat during the March 2021 quarter, reporting an all-in sustaining cost of negative US$160 per ounce, which is the lowest ever quarterly all-in sustaining cost figure. Along with gold, Newcrest also extracts silver and copper associated with gold deposits at its mines. During the March 2021 quarter, the company produced 35,034 tonnes of copper and 228,543 ounces of silver. Total gold production during the quarter stood at 512,424 ounces. Newcast currently operates four gold projects and has minor interests in several other gold projects. The company has two gold producing products in Australia and one each in Papua New Guinea and Canada. The Cadia mine was discovered in 1992 and went into production in 1999. It's one of the largest gold mining operations in Australia. The mine produced 179,546 ounces of gold and 26,324 tonnes of copper during the March 2021 quarter. To extend the life of the mine, Newcrest is continuously exploring and developing the surrounding areas. Currently, the company is progressing on a pre-feasibility study for the development of the PC-12 cave. Lahir achieved more than 15 million tonnes per annum of sustainable mill through put rate in 2019. During the March 2021 quarter, Lahir produced 183,231 ounces of gold at an all-in sustaining cost of US$1,293 per ounce. To further advance the project, Newcrest is in the final stage of concluding the Phase 14A pre-feasibility study expected by the end of this quarter. The work has identified 20 million tonnes at 2.4 grams per tonne of gold, including 30 million tonnes at 3 grams per tonne of indicated mineral resource, which can be used as mill feed in the future. Telfer sits within the Great Sandy Desert of the Pilbara region in WA. The gold project produces gold from open pits and underground mines of Main Dome and West Dome. Newcrest extracted 105,228 ounces of gold and 3,666 tonnes of copper from Telfer in the first quarter of 2021. Telfer has potential for near mine gold prospects and polymetallic deposits. Newcrest holds a 70% interest in the Red Chris project, which is located in British Columbia in Canada. The company is undertaking a brownfield exploration program on the project. Red Chris has estimated and measured an indicated resource of 980 million tonnes at 0.41 grams per tonne and 0.38% copper for 13 million ounces of gold and 3.7 million tonnes of contained copper. During the March 2021 quarter, 11,000 ounces of gold and 5,044 tonnes of copper was extracted from the project. The recent drilling campaign at the East Ridge and Main Zone on the project tenement area continues to expand the gold footprint. Newcrest also holds a 50% interest in Wafi Gold Poop, which is an advanced exploration project in Papua New Guinea and is in the permitting phase. Javieron is also an advanced stage project located close to the Telfer asset. 
The company operates the project in a joint venture with Greatland Gold. Newcrest can earn up to 70% interest in the JV. The drilling campaign during the March 2021 quarter intersected gold mineralization in all seven drilled holes. Newcrest is currently working on the water management plan and securing permits and approvals for development works on the project. Meanwhile, back in 2020, Newcrest acquired a 32% equity interest in London Gold, which operates the Fruta del Norte Gold Project in Ecuador. During the March quarter, the company realized a production share of 33,000 ounces from its 32% interest. Newcrest is investing heavily in developing new gold projects and increasing the life of the mine of the existing assets. As the gold bull run is expected to continue in the foreseeable future, long life and low cost gold projects would enable the company to leverage the opportunities. The company has given financial year 2021 production guidance in the range of 1.95 to 2.15 million ounces. If you like this information, please like, share and comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the bell icon for notifications for our latest videos. For more information, log on to our website, calkinemedia.com. I'm Rachel signing off for Calkine Media.